Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to create home page in WordPress with Elementor. So let's just begin. Okay, to create the home page with Elementor, the first thing that you need to install is Elementor. And the theme that I'm using here is actually the Astro theme. So you have to remember that. And how can we install the Elementor plugin? That is really easy. All you need to do is go inside the plugins and in the plugin, click on the add new. And here in the search bar, you just have to write down the Elementor. And you can see that we have the Elementor website builder at the top of the search. Okay, so I have to update this. So let's click on the update. Okay, so now what I need to do, I simply go inside the pages. Click on the add new page. And here I will simply build the home page. Okay. All right. So now let's click on the edit with Elementor. Okay. So as you can see here, we are inside the Elementor editor and here we will simply build our home page. So first of all, I would like to create the structure of our home page. So let's click on the add and the first structure will be the single column structure. And after that, I would like to have a single column structure again. And after that, I would like to have the two column structure. And after that, a single column structure again. And now I will simply like to have the four column structure. Now I'll simply add a single column structure again. And in the last, I would like to add the two column structure. Okay, so that is the layout structure of our home page. And what I need to do, I have to change the value of content width to the full width. I have to do the same things with the other structure. So this would be full width. All right, so I have changed the content width of all of the columns here to the full width. Okay, so now what I need to do, I have to add the content here. So in the first column, I would like to have the heading. Okay, so I have to set the value of the heading. So it would be web development courses and I have to align this into the center. And I have to change the HTML tag into the H1. All right, so now I have to add the paragraph here. Okay, so I have to align this into the center as well. So let's click on the style. And from here, I will simply align this into the center. And in the last, I would actually like to add the button here. Let's drag the button and put it underneath the paragraph. So let's just write down browse courses here. All right, I have to align this into the center and this is looking fine. Okay, so now we have added the content into our first column. So now we have to add the content of our second column that is actually the heading again right so this is it courses of the week put this into the center and this will do the job okay so this is it for the second section so now i have to add the courses here so let's go back and add the image and i also have to add the image in the second column as well okay so i have to add the images here so let's click on the choose image and i would actually like to insert the image from the url Okay, so as you can see here, we have this image here. So let's click on insert into the post. Okay, so in a similar way, I would like to add the image in the second column. So let's click on the choose image, click on the insert from the URL, and we have added this image through the URL. So let's click on the insert into post. Okay, so we have added the images. Okay, so I have to decrease the size of the images. So let's click on the style and I have to give it a width here. Okay, so this will do the job here. 80 in the width here and in the similar way I would like to add the 80 here in our second image. Okay, so now this is looking fine. Okay, so now let's just go back and I have to add the heading here. So this would be H4. I have to place this into the center and this would be the course one. And let's just go back and in the similar way I would like to add the heading in our second column. Okay, so this would be the H1 again into the center course two. Okay, so let's just go back. And we have added the content of our third section here. So now I have to add the reviews. So let's just drag the heading here. It would be the students reviews. I have to put this into the center. And let's just add the reviews here. Write down the review here in the search bar. And you can see the star rating here. So you have to drag this into the column. And it would be the five star rating. Okay, so in a similar way, I have to add this into other columns here. Okay, so we have added the star rating in all of our four columns. Okay, so now I have to add the reviews here in each of these columns. All right, so let's just drag the text editor here in the first column. All right, this will do the job. And in the similar way, I have to add the paragraph in the other columns. Okay, so let's just drag this. Okay, so I have added the paragraph on each of our columns here. Okay, so I have to add one more paragraph that would actually show the name of the student. So we have to place this under the review. It will be the student name. 
and we have to make this look bold all right okay so we have to do the same thing in the other columns as well okay so we have added the name of the student here in each of these column okay so now we need to finish the last section here so that would be the heading okay so let's just write down start learning here and it would be into the center and i have to add the two more images here so first of all let's just add the heading here it would be the course one it would be the h4 actually the h3 put this into the center and i have to add the heading in the second column as well case to h3 and align this into the center okay so now let's click on the edit column here and click on the style and i have to add the image here so let's click on the classic add the image here so i will be simply using the same images that we have used earlier so let's click the insert into post and same goes for the second column as well add the image insert the url here insert into post okay so as you can see here that our image is not looking great in both of these columns so we have to adjust this so let's click on the edit column and as you can see here we are inside the advanced setting so we have to give the value of the padding so that would be 150 okay so that will do the job and i have to unlink the values and i will give 50 to the right padding and 50 to the left padding okay so that would do the work and i also have to add the margin here so that would be 30 all right so this is looking okay but i still have to adjust the image so let's just click on the edit column and click on the styles and as you can see the image here so we have to change the position of the image to the center center right and the display size would be the cover okay so now this is looking fine and i have to do the same thing with the second column as well so let's click on the edit column we have to add the padding 150 the margin would be 30 click on the style okay so it is 30 we have to change the position to the center center and i have to change the value of the display side to the cover okay so as you can see here that image are looking fine here now but the thing is the colors of the images are pretty bright so we have to adjust the color otherwise we won't be able to see the text on the image here okay so let's click on the image and as you can see here we have the background overlay so let's click here and in the background overlay we have to add the color a dark color here so i will simply add the dark color here so now as you can see here that our text is looking visible and more clear than before so i have to add this in the first image as well click on the background overlay click on the background type add the color it will be the black color okay all right so now this is looking fine okay so as you can see here that text is looking fine on both of these images but if i change the color uh, to the white it will look better all right so now this is looking way more better all right so this is looking fine now okay so now we are good with the last section here start learning and the course one and the course two so now what i need to do i have to adjust the spacing of the reviews here so i would actually like to change the value of the content width to the box this is looking better okay so now what i need to do i have to set the spacing between our reviews and the student name all right so let's click on the reviews click on the advanced okay so i have to set the margin value in the minus actually so that would be minus 15 okay so now you can see the change in the spacing here so i'll do the same thing with the student here advanced i'll link the values in the margin so it would be actually minus 40 okay so this will do the work and in the similar way i would also change the spacing in the other reviews here okay so i have set the spacing here between the reviews as you can see here now this is looking better so now what i need to do i have to add the spacing in the student reviews okay so that would be 20 from the top and it would also have 20 from the bottom so now this is looking fine and i have to do the same thing with the star learning heading as well would be 10 from the top and 10 from the bottom this is looking fine okay so the course one and the course two and the images are looking fine so we don't have to do any changes into it and i can add the spacing in the course of the week here so this would be the 10 from the top and 10 from the bottom as well okay so i have added the margin from the top and the bottom all right so now in the last what i need to do i have to add the image in our first section here so let's click on the edit section click on the image here so i would simply insert the image using url so we'll just paste the url here and insert it 
Okay, so we have this background image in our first section. So I have to change the position to the center center and the display size would be cover. Okay, so now what I need to do, let's click on the layout. Now we have to change the value of the height into the main width. So let's just increase the height here. I think that would work fine. Okay. But the thing is, as you can see here, the heading and the paragraph are not actually visible. So how can we make this visible? We have to add the background overlay into our background. So let's click on the style again. Click on the background overlay. Click on the classic. Add the color from here. That would be the dark color. So now this is looking fine. And we have to change the color of the heading in the paragraph from here. So let's click on the heading. Click on the style. This would be the white color. And we have to do the same thing with our paragraph. So that would be actually kind of grayish color, a light gray color. So this is looking fine. Okay, so I have to add the hover color on my button. So let's click on the button and click on the hover. Click on the classic. Okay, so let's click on the color here. All right, so now I have to give a darker color here. This is looking fine. Okay, so we are good with this color. All right, so now what I need to do, I have to add the spacing here in our second heading. So let's click on the advance. It will be 20 from the top and the bottom in the margin. So this is looking fine. And in the last part I need to do, I have to change the color of our heading into the black color. Okay, so how can we do that? Let's just click on the side settings and let's click on the global colors. Okay, so I have to change the primary color here. So it would be the black color. All right. So now let's just go back. And you will be able to see that the text color of the heading is actually turned into the black. Okay, so now this is how this is looking. And now what I need to do, I actually have to change the content width value. So that would be the box again. Now this is looking fine. Okay, so now let's click on the publish. Click on have a look. Alright, so now you will be able to see that this is how our home page is looking. And this is looking really great here. But we can add a bit of spacing here at the end. So let's just go back. And what I need to do here, click on the edit section, advance. I'll link the values here. It would be 40. So let's just update the values here. Go back to the home page. Click on the refresh. And you will be able to see the spacing here. And this is looking really fine. So let's go back to the editor. And now what we need to do, we have to go back to our WordPress dashboard. So let's click here. Click on exit and if I just click on the visit side, you will be able to see the latest post here, not the home page. So how can we set this? So let's go back and you have to go inside the settings and in the settings, let's click on the reading. And from here, you have to change the home page display to the static page and you have to select the home page here. That would be the home page. Click on the save changes. And now if I just click on the visit side again, you will be able to see our home page here. Now you can see this. This is how our home page is looking. And this is looking really simple and elegant. All right. So this is how we can create the home page in WordPress using Elementor. And if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.